welcome to Sculpture Studios. Scaling things down a little from our usual work today, something a little more manageable for one person, and today that one person is Jess. Someone's got in touch with us about the creation of a couple of Viking ship heads. These are usually a stylized animal, typically a dragon, and we've been sent a few concept images to base these on. I'm pretty sure these are only going to be used for a day or two on the end of some tent poles at an outdoor event. With this in mind, these are simply going to be carved from polystyrene with a thin layer of a two-part plastic, and this is just to coat them enough to give them a bit of a protective shell. Starting off by mapping out the images onto polystyrene and cutting the outline shapes on the hot wire table. We're going to be using a few different tools for this job, which require some carving and a little detail work. This is a tad too small and not actually sculptural enough to need nail and wire brushes. Instead, Jess is using sharp knives, stonemason rifflers and a soldering iron to achieve everything that's required. This project that you're watching today is pre-4K camera, as this is actually from a little while ago. You may have seen in our last video, with the flamingos for the Tour de France, that thanks to all of our patrons, we've managed to upgrade the quality of our videos with a brand new camera. Quite often, we try and wait until we can be sent some finished photographs on location before we make one of our videos, but alas, this is one of those projects where we didn't actually get to see what these were used for. Nonetheless, regardless of any final photos, regardless of what camera, we thought it a waste that you guys don't get to see the process, and so here we are. A cheeky little project video today, under 5 minutes, so no need to set aside too much time for this one. We hope you enjoy. These are great examples of a couple of quick turnaround props for a short term event. The two part plastic saves having to go down a costly and unnecessary fiberglass route and the dry brush paint technique over the top just brings out all the detail by highlighting the tops and leaving the deeper carvings. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.